What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are here playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping back onto that ranked double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are showcasing quote unquote the worst restricted mod in the game right now. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, you're out of your mind. Join the community, scroll down a little bit, and click that big red subscribe button. But like I said, quote unquote the worst restricted mod in the game is Mewtwo over here. Is Mewtwo over here. People are saying it's the worst, but I think this Pokemon is really, really good and it just gets a bad rep due to how strong some of the other restricted mods are, like Kyogre, Zacian, and Groudon. They're just overpowered. They, they legit are just overpowered. That's why you guys see them so much, but I feel like Mewtwo is very, very strong in certain situations, so hopefully we get to show off the power of this Pokemon and show how strong he is in today's video. But getting started with this team, top of corner with the Mewtwo, Unnerve, and Life Orb as its item. Protect, Trick Room, Aurora Spear, and Expanding Force as its moveset. You guys already know. How much damage Expanded Force can do? If we can get this Pokemon in a Psychic terrain and get him rolling and have speed advantage on our side, he's going to be able to do mass amount of damage, potentially one tap both Pokemon in one turn, which is crazy. So I really do think this Pokemon is strong. Cannot wait to show him off. Right next to him, we have Guzzlord over here. Guzzlord has Beast Boost ability, Psychic Seeds as well. He's Dragon and Dark type with Wide Guard, Flamethrower, Snarl, and Dark Pulse. I only used this Pokemon like one time before this, but it was an absolute beast when we used it. It was probably one of my favorite teams I used. I dominated with it. I think I went on like a nine game win streak with the team. It was way back when Ultra Beasts were first introduced. It was a Trick Room team, but I thought he was super, super strong. But this one's not paired up to do a lot of attack damage. So it's sitting here with some coverage moves and Wide Guard and Snarl as well. But. Middle left over here, we got Indeedee is going to be able to pair well with the Mewtwo and with the Guzzlord at the same time, considering Guzzlord has his Psychic Seeds, but it's really here for the Mewtwo. Get the Psychic Surge rolling, Safety Goggles as an item, and then we got Protect, Shadow Ball, Follow Me, and Expanding Force. So if I can get Mewtwo and Indeedee in here at the same time and get double Expanding Force, chances are the Pokemon on the other team are not surviving those shots. Two Expanding Force are tough to survive. Not many Pokemon can do it, so if we can get that rolling, that'll be complete and utter domination from there. But Whimscott is right next to him. Great support mod for this team. It has Tailwind, it has Protect, Memento, and Moonblast. Love this move set right here. Considering Memento is an awesome move. It actually kills your Pokemon. So if I use it, uh, Whimscott is going to faint. But the Pokemon that I use it on will get a minus two in special attack and a minus two in physical attack. So it's really good paired up with this Focus Ash. Because say someone knocks me down a Focus Ash, I'm on one HP anyway. I might as well go for the Memento, take down their special and physical attack, and just go from there. Bottom left corner is Urshfu, and I absolutely love this Pokemon. So good in every single situation. You can legit bring him in on any team, and he will do work. Unseen Fist, Mystic Water as its item, and then we got Protect, Aqua Jet, Close Combat, and Surge Strike. Great moveset. Cannot go wrong with this one. Final Pokemon on team is going to be Cantonian Zapdos over here with Static and Rock Helmet. That is probably one of the coolest combos of abilities and items I've seen in a while. Considering if a physical attacker hits us, they're going to take damage from that Rocky Helmet and potentially get the Static Paralyze on them at the same time. So damage and Paralyze at the same time, and then you can hit them. Bro, that's crazy. Really do like that combo. Cannot wait to show that off. Protect, Roost, Hurricane, and Thunderbolt for its moveset as well. Guys, you want to try this team for yourself? You already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that rank double ladder and show off the power of Mewtwo in Series 10. We're going to have a tough one here for a first battle. Going up against, I think, one of the strongest Kyogre teams in the game right now. It's Rillaboom, Tornadus, Swift Swim, Kingdra, Serena over here. Then he has Kyogre and Umbreon. So... My hopes for this battle are a little low, are a little low here, but we got to bring in Zapdos. Zapdos is a must. He's a must come in here, right? I could go Indeedee and Mewtwo, but say he leads the rain combo. Say he goes Kyogre, it's going to be super, super tough for us. So I think Zapdos and Whimsicott have to come in here. I think we go Mewtwo in the back end, and then maybe alongside with Urshifu. The Urshifu can thrive in this weather. It really can. I'm going to go in with that. I really would like a Tailwind with the Whimsicott, so that's why I'm going to bring it. And I just want to bring Mewtwo just to have Mewtwo, but he really pairs well with that Indeedee, so I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. Maybe I should have brought the Indeedee. I feel like we need all these Pokemon here. All these Pokemon work so well, but the problem here is now we don't have Weather or Tarantula. And that's my thought process right after this, uh, right after I hit done on the team. Because we don't have our Indeedee, so if he brings Rillaboom like that, we don't have Terrain Control at all. We do not have Terrain Control at all. He's going to go in with these two. He does have Grass Guide, which I'm fine with this all day. I'll just pop a nice little Tailwind here. Kind of get rolling from there. Um, drop some T-Bolts. He does have a few physical attackers out here, so... Kind of cool with that. Because I do have my Static and my Rocky Helmet, so Tailwind is probably a must here. I set up our Tailwind, and I could... Oh, he could fake me out. I might just Protect. I'm just going to Protect Wimscott. Oh, I could Double Protect. 
Nah, I think he's gonna go for that wind scout, so I'm just gonna try to land his hurricane here. Could be a big hurricane land. So let's see his play from here. Who's he gonna fake out? Fake out my wind scout, please. Please fake out my wind scout. Go ahead, do it. Fake out on my wind scout. Fake out on my wind scout and let this hurricane land. Let me get started off strong here. There's fake out, and of course, of course, he slides it over to the Zapdos. Of course, he slides it over to Zapdos. He's gonna take Rocky Helmet damage, which is huge. Does he get a para? Does not. And Foul Play is gonna roll through, and he reads my protect super, super hard. Super, super hard. He's gonna also take Rocky Helmet damage, and no paralyzes, man. I'm rocking static over here. None of you guys are gonna get paralyzed. That's a little whack. Okay. Time to set up a Tailwind. Do I go into a Hurricane here? I think Hurricane might be play. I think Hurricane still might be play. Let's go Tailwind here. And then I can drop, drop a lovely little Hurricane. Hopefully this connects here. If it does, we can say bye-bye to this uh, Real Boom, I think. But it could be swapping it. Let's see what, let's see his play here. He's going to swap. You buttery biscuit. Who are you going to go into? Whom are you going to go into? Okay. Serene over here. I'm with it all day. What you think I was going for? My brand's going to protect him. Fire turn. If this Hurricane connects, it's a great turn for me. Come on, Hurricane. Come on, Hurricane. Show me the money, baby. Show me the money. Hurricane drops. Show me the money. Great turn for us. Great turn for us. Huge turn for us. We get rid of their Serene instantly. I don't know why he swapped Roboom into that. Like, I thought he was swapping Roboom to check the uh, flying move. But, I mean, we take those. We take those all day. But that's the only problem with Hurricane. You're really rolling dice with that move. But if it hits, it is so strong. That's why it's an absolute beast in the rain. That's why I love Zapdos in the rain. Because you can rock Thunder with them and Hurricane, which are 100% both actually in the rain. And now he sets up the rain for us. Now he does indeed set up the rain for us, which I really, really like. So we could protect. I definitely want to drop a Moonblast and go into a Thunderbolt. And you give me no reason not to do that, right? Right, you give me no reason not to. I mean, we have speed right now with the Tailwind. We have this lovely little speed with our Tailwind here. Moonblast going to fly over there. Deal a little bit of damage over on the Umbreon. Umbreon's a tank for no reason. Like, for no reason, it's just an absolute tank, which I love, though. But Thunderbolt comes out. Give me the para. Show me para. No para comes out here, and Ice Beam is going to fly through over on the Windscott. I'll take that all day. Oh, over onto my bird. Over onto my bird, man. My poor bird. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with that. Foul Play is going to fly through here. I'm chilling with that. That's easy eats. And I can just drop another Moon Blast if I really want to. Uh, how do I go into this? He has the Roller Boom left. We still have our Urshifu. Ooh, I could bring out my Urshifu. I could indeed bring out my Urshifu. Urshi Ursh can come through hot here. Would be lovely. And I could protect my Wimscott in order to get my Sash back. What do I want to go into here? I mean, I think we should save this Pokemon for the Rillaboom. And we can bring out you right here. But what do I think my play is here? I could protect Wimscott. That's what I'm thinking of doing. Just protecting the Wimscott, right? Let's protect Wimscott and go into a nice, lovely Surgeon Strikes. Over into here. Because again, if I can get my Sash back for my Wimscott, I would really like that. I would, I would, I would like that a lot. <laughs> I would like to have my Focus Sash back. But Protects can come out from... Ooh, Umbreon. Ooh, ooh. We love that. We love that because Urshfu hits through Protects. We love that. We love to see it. Let's hit through. Maybe we can pick up KO here. That could be big. There's one shot. I think we can. I think we're going to be able to. Oh, it's going to be cutting it close. Come on, do it. Come on, get him out of here. Yes, sir, yo. Yes, sir. Let's go. Big KO from the Umbreon, and I wonder what Kyrie's going for. Maybe another Ice Beam? He is, yo. He is! Yes, sir, yo. Making some huge plays for us. We're making some huge plays here. So now, we're sitting here. We have our, what's it called? We do have our, uh, what is it? Our Mewtwo in the back. And that should be able to do well on this roller boom. But the terrain's gonna end very, very soon. He did lead with it. So let me see how many turns left in the terrain. He can't go for a fake out. He can't go for a grassy glide. He has one turn. But I think I just protect my, uh... I could memento. If we don't have our sash. I might memento here. Over on the Kyogre. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to memento and just drop a protect. That's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to say Whimscott. Drop this thing's special attack. And just get rid of this Pokemon here. Memento's going to come out here. And then we're going to bring a Mewtwo for expanding forces. The rain's going to be gone after this, so... You can't just grass guide onto my, uh, onto my what's it called anymore. My Urshifu. Okay. We're going to Memento here. We're going to get that special attack drop. Grass guide is going to pop. We're going to block here. And what is he going for? Ice Beam. Totally fine. That's totally fine. 
So he's down to his final two. We're down to our final two. Let's get after this one. I'm thinking, like, I really do think my uh, my Mewtwo can take out Rillaboom in one shot. Hell and Peter's out. I think we're still fastest on the field unless I think it's Choice Scarf, which it could be. But with an if he is Choice Scarf, he's Choice to an Ice Beam. And he's minus two, so I don't see him doing anything. I really don't see him doing anything. So let's rock out with this. Let's go into our expanding force into that Rillaboom. Try to get that KO there. Get rid of that Pokemon. And I might double down into him. Might double down into him. I think I'm going to have to double down into him. You know, close combat. Yeah, we're going to double down into this Pokemon. We have to get rid of Rillaboom. Rillaboom is a must. And why do I think Expanded Force is super effective? I don't know why. But let's see how much damage we can do there. There's that damage right there. We're going to take our Life Orb. And can close combat finish this one off? I think he's going to fly through. This thing is choice. He is going to be choice here. Close combat's going to fly through here. Can we pick up KO? Show it to me, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Battle number one looking really, really well. Mewtwo coming in the back end, cleaning up things. So far, I'm liking it. So far, I'm liking the Mewtwo. He's looking really, really good here. Really, really good. And we made a great Memento play. I usually don't really rock out with Memento, but it worked really, really well there. Considering I knew we couldn't swap the Kyogre, so I was just like, yo, we might as well go into this Memento. Drop that thing special attack and kind of just take it out of the battle. Battle was canceled. GG's. Let's get it, guys. We just dominated a top-tier Kyogre team with a Mewtwo team right here. That says a lot right there. Mewtwo is rocking out so far. We're hopping into our second battle here, going up against another strong meta team with Zacian, Urshifu, Whimsicott, Regilecki, Rillaboom, and Entei. So if we can pick up another win here, I think that just proves the fact that Mewtwo is actually pretty strong here. But let's see who he's going to go into. I do not know. I really don't know. This one seems like it's going to be tough as well. I think we have to bring Whimsicott, but at the same time, I might roll a Trick Room. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go in DD Mewtwo, pop a Trick Room, bring Guzzlord in this back end, and then... Hmm. Hmm. Who does Jeans want to go into here? Final Pokemon? I'm thinking Urshifu. I think Urshifu comes in the back end. Can he can clean up a lot. But then at the same time, if he can take terrain control, I don't like that either. But I really do want this Urshifu. So I am going to bring it. I'm going to bring it, and we're going to get try rocking out here. Ah, what, am I, what should I do here? What should I do? This one seems like it's going to be so tough. But he's definitely going to bring that Rollboom. He definitely might actually lead the Rollboom. Actually, I kind of hope he leads the Rollboom. I think Rollboom might be faster than my Ndidi, which could just give us terrain instantly. But that's a, that's a maybe. That's a maybe. Let's see who he goes into. He's going to go into Wimscott and Urshifu. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. Say less. Say less. So I'm definitely going to follow me and I'm going to trip him. It's a must. It's it's an absolute must. It's 100% a must. Psychic Surge is out and about. I uh, could actually... No, I was I was thinking to drop an Expanding Force, but if he goes to the Tailwind, then he can potentially just dump on me. So we're going to trick him here. And I am just going to hit this follow me button. Hopefully he goes for that Tailwind. That Tailwind would actually benefit us. A bit. Urshifu's going to detect. That's huge. And show me the Tailwind. Show me the Tailwind. Show me the Tailwind. Show me the Tailwind. Come on. Give it to me. Show it to me. Let's go. Let's go. Free turn for us, baby. Free Trick Room turn for us. So we counteract on that Tailwind. Huge turn. Huge turn. The reason I really want that Tailwind is because it boosts their speed. And Mewtwo is already super fast. So that will just make them slower than most of them here. And now I can just drop a lovely, lovely expanded force if I really wanted to. I really wanted to, but it's not very effective, or it has no effect there, so. I think I'm just dropping an Aurora Spear into you. Go an Aurora Spear, and then ex maybe expanded force over there? Or I could double down in Urshifu. Or I could just get rid of this Whimscott, because he might swap the what's it called. What do I want to do here? Let's we just double down in Urshifu slot. I can't detect again. I'm going to double down into him. Maybe we can get rid of him. He's going to withdraw the one spot. He's double down, G. Great double down. Rillaboom's going to come out here. We're not going for expanding forces, so I'm with that all day. My hard swap my DD after this. My hard swap my DD. Let's see the play. Let's see what's going on here. Shadow Ball's going to pop. And this is a War Spear takeout. It never misses. And this thing is really, really lightweight, but it's not stab, I got to remember. It's not stab. But we do have life for him. Take him out. Get him out of here. Let's go. Let's go. The double down. The reason I did double down is potentially could have been Sash. You never know. But great turn for us. Uh, could protect the Mewtwo and then just swap in DD and swap it back for an expanded force. Or big old expanded force because he will still be in Tailwind at that point. So Zacian is going to pop. Me no like. Me, me, don't, me don't like that. I do not like that one bit. Things an absolute monster. 
We could fake me out. I think I just uh, protect me two here. And I hard swap in DD into Guzzlord here. Because Guzzlord? We do get that. We do get that. We do get the seeds. Actually, we won't get the seeds. Because it's different terrain. But we're going to swap into the Guzzlord. Let's see what we can knock out from there. But I definitely need this terrain back. Yeah, he's going to go for a fake out. We already know that. Hopefully, it's over onto my Mewtwo slot. Maybe he'll double down in my Mewtwo. If that's the case, then I can just start dropping expanding for I think I going to come out here. He's going to go after my Guzzy. Yo, look how much HP this Pokemon has. For no reason. Oh my god, dude. This dude makes a huge read. That's tough news for me. We do have a ton of HP. Can we eat that? 300 HP? Wow. That thing's doing a crazy amount of damage. Crazy amount for no reason. Okay. I might just keep the Guzzlord out here for right now. Where do I swap? Expanded Force could be really nice here. I could keep the Guzzlord out here and just drop a Flamethrower. That's what I'm going to do. If he goes for a Glide, that could maybe take out my Guzzlord, but at the same time, it might not. Let's see, he's asking Protect. Ugh. Ugh. That could have been good for us. That could have been real good for us. Phantom Force is going to fly through here, though. We're going to be able to chip up on this thing. I think next turn we can take it out with uh, with the terrain. But let's see how this one plays out. u turn's going to pivot now. We thought we were, we were swapping there. But now we're going to swap into our... our uh, now we're going to swap into our NDD. Or do I just not even do that? That's tough with the Protect. That's tough with the Protect. Because that Flamethrower could have been huge for us. That Flamethrower could have been big for you, boy. Do I think... What do I get out? What do I do? What do I do? So if I bring in Indeedee, it's just going to hard swap, right? I might just bring in Urshifu. While I can. While I can. Maybe just start close combating and trying to get rid of this, uh... This, what's it called? This Zassian. And when Peter's out, we still have one more turn left in Trick Room, so that's going to help us out. Uh, just kill Urshifu. So tough. Let's go in DD while we can. While we can, let's go in DD. Hmm. It's so dull, dude. It's so tough. This is so tough. This is a good battle right here. This is a great battle. I'm like trying to think of what I can do here. Because Zassian is just posing a huge threat. I think I just still need to shoot down on that slot. Do I double down here? I think I'm just going to double expanding force. Just in case he is sashed. We might swap in the roll boom. In that case, we could just take it out with the, by doubling down. We know Zassian can't protect, so Zassian is going to hit. He's going to witch roll. I do like that turn. I do like that turn because Wimscott is going to go down here, which is lovely. Very, very lovely. And then I could... Do I just go for some follow me's and try to get rid of the roll boom at that point? And Taunt is flying through here. So he is taunting us, but again, we're doubling down. We're going for straight attacks here. We're going for straight attacks. And DD is going to drop that expanded force. Wimscott's going to take some damage here. And I think this next expanded force should be able to take out this Wimscott, no problem, right? With Life Orb, we have a bit more attack on us. A bit more force, and we get rid of that Pokemon. So, okay. Sitting, it's it's gonna be close. It's gonna be super super close. He has terrain control, and I think we have to maybe swap for that now. I don't like the glide. I do not like the glide one bit. Not like the glide one bit. If he's great, like if he's grassy gliding, that's so tough. That is so tough. If he grass guides into my ND slot, that's it's not going to work out for us. I could trick room, but I'm I'm just going to protect. I'm legit just going to protect here, and I, I have to swap. I need I need this uh I need this terrain control. So I gotta hope he doesn't grass guide into my ND slot, which I would think he would go into maybe my U2 slot, right? Unless he's making a hard refer to protect. But let's see how this one plays out here. We swap you. Mewtwo's going to protect. Come on, grass glide into my Mewtwo. Do it. Do it. You won't. You won't. Son of a biscuit, man. Later, Urshifu. Oh! Free Sash. Free Sash. Free Sash. Free Sash. Free Focus Sash. We love it. We love the Free Focus Sashes. We love them. We love the Sashes. <laughs> we love to see them.
free focus ash, yo. My opponent's been getting too many free focus ashes, so it's good for me to get them. It is super good for me to get them. So now we just drop an expanded force here. And now I'm going to just hard swap, and we're going to take terrain control for the rest of the match. And then I can just follow me out after this. I just got to hope my Mewtwo can eat up a Behemoth Blade. That's a real problem. It's a real problem. <laughs> like, if we don't eat up this Behemoth Blade, then everything we just work for there is gone. Like, now can you guys see why it's so tough to play up against these meta Pokemon? It is so hard, man. They just counter so much. Like, we have to play out of our minds just to get a win. Like, we're swapping. We're trying to do a bunch of different things. This Pokemon are just way better than mine. Behemoth Blade comes through. It's easy eats. It's easy eats, Mewtwo. It's easy eats. It's easy eats. Hey, wait, wait, what, what can I do? What am I supposed to do? I can't do anything up against that. I simply can't. I just can't do anything up against that. I cannot. <laughs> I just can't. Oh my lord, it's so hard. It's so hard. We're gonna lose this next battle or this second battle. But hopefully we can grab ourselves a winning record in this third and final one. Uh, I guess we'll go for a close combat. We double down and roll boom. I, I mean we have to hit up on Zassian to go for an expanding force. It's the only way, but again, his Zassian outspeeds me. He's gonna be able to take out one of my Pokemon, and then it's pretty much gonna be GG. He's probably gonna take out my DD here with Behemoth Blade. Right? Is that correct? Is that indeed? Indeed dubitably? Let's see it. Yo, but solid second battle. This was a really good battle. A really good battle, in my opinion. You're gonna end up going for Behemoth Blade, and like, I, I can't do anything. I cannot do anything up against that. This Pokemon is so good. He's so good. He's too strong. And I feel like taking out Dynamax really made him better, because in the Dynamax format, he couldn't Dynamax. And it's like, okay, that's a little fair, but his Behemoth Blade still did double damage. But at the same time, it's just like, okay, so now nobody can die to Max. He's going to be able to just dump on everything left and right, like he's doing right now. Phantom Force flies through. Can we pick up a KO, maybe? Onto the Boom? Nope. Nope. GG's. I'm going to keep my poor little croissant ear in DD alive. Does your ears look like croissants? I think it's hilarious. But let's run this battle. Let's hop into our third and final battle and look for a winning record for today's video. Dear Lord, help me. Please help me. How come every match I go into has to be a top tier meta team? We're hopping into our third battle here and going up against a staggering Kai Ogre team right here. Like, look how good this team is. It's like the first battle we had. But it's basically the same team, just the Grimstarl swapped with something else. I forget who we had instead of the Grimstarl. It might have been Urshifu, but it's no big deal. It's still that heavy meta team. Really, really strong. The Tornadus, the Serene over here, and then he also has the Choice Scarf Kyogre. I'm going to say it's Choice Scarf because Kyogre has been Choice Scarf so much as of recently. And then he's got the Roll Boom, Grim Snarl, and Regilek. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this one bit. But I'm going to go in with that same lead I did in the first one. I'm going to go Zapdos, one Scott. This works super, super strong here. Um, next Pokemon I am going to bring is Urshifu, and then bring Mewtwo. Bring Mewtwo. Is it, I think it's the same squad that we brought in the first one, but hey. We're doing pretty good with these battles so far. One and one, we dominated our first battle, and second battle, we played really, really good. It was just, we just got out Pokemon there. His Pokemon were way stronger than mine. Like, I had a chance to win it, but it was just like, yo, is it as he's at the point where he's outspeeding me, and I can't really do much. And my Indeedee was taunted, so I couldn't follow me in Papa Trick Room. So it was just like, dude, this Asian's just gonna one-tap left and right, and that is exactly what he did. Behemoth Blade, dead. Behemoth Blade, dead. Behemoth Blade, dead. You just can't do anything about it. You just can't do anything about it. That's why if I was pushing rank ladder, I'd be either using a Kyogre team, a Shadow Rider Calyrex team, or a Zassian team. I just think they're the top three right now. If you're going to push ranks, definitely rock out with those guys. Definitely rock out with those guys. But if you're like me and want to have fun, use any team you guys want. Use any team you guys want. It's always fun beating the top meta teams with off meta teams. But he goes in with the Regilecki and the Tornadus, which I, I, I guess I'm cool with. I guess I'm cool with it. Hmm. Definitely going into a Tailwind, a lovely little Tailwind. And he could protect, he could protect turn one. Beautiful. Or he could set Rain, I would love for him to set Rain. Uh, ch -ch -ch. we're going with a Thunderbolt. I'm going to go with a Thunderbolt, so we might go Tailwind for Tailwind here. Yes, we are going to go Tailwind for Tailwind, I believe. My Thunderbolt is going to bring this thing down to Sash, or it might be Citrus Berry. Let's see, he's, he's going to taunt me early on here. He's going to taunt me early on here, but my Tailwind came out beforehand, so I really do dig it. Thunderbolt's going to come out here. And he always oh, rocking the Wakan Berry. My man's rocking Wakan Berry. Rocking Wakan Berry, okay. E Web's gonna fly through here. That's gonna slow us down minus one stage. Oh, alright. Say less. Say less. Um, I think he just tailwinds before he goes out, or he might hard swap. 
what I think he's going to do. I could Memento, but I think I'm just going to drop a nice little Moon Blast here. Actually, I can't Memento. I'm taunted. I'm taunted, baby. I think we just drop this. and we go in like this. He's going to set up Tailwind, right? Yep, he's going to Tailwind. His, uh... This Ryanos is going to go down here. He might be able to pick up KO with his Regilecki. No, he's not. He's going to E-Web instead. He's going to drop this lovely little E-Web instead. And by him taking out my Zapdos, that could be tough news for us. I would really like to have my Zapdos in here up against his, uh... Up against his Kyogre. But how much damage are we going to do with Moonblast? Moonblast? I'm, I'm liking Moonblast. <laughs> Moonblast gets some good damage off there. And it got the special attack drop, which I love. So, T-Bolt's going to be able to come out here. Uh... What do I think he's going to go into? Can I Roost? Do I think I get off a of Roost? Do I think I get off a of Roost here? No, I do not. Not one bit. <laughs> Kyogre's out here. It's it's uh, it's looking like a rat for us, dude. Like, I'm confused. Like, What can I do up against this? That's my problem I'm sitting at now. It's like, I can't do anything up against this i mean maybe a double protect to start wasting out tailwind turns but like looking at this i cannot do anything up against this he has speed he has the double hitting moves that are going to one tap me i just i don't have any items like a focus sash to like eat up like it's over like, this is how crazy this meta is right now. Like, it is over. Like, 100%, it's over. He just goes into E-Webs and Water Spouts the rest of the game. It's over with, right? We're gonna drop the Ancient Power. We are gonna be able to eat that. Oh, wait, of course he gets all the boosts. What do you mean? How lucky is this guy? And then he just drops Water Spouts, right? It's, it's over. Like, I, I can't do anything about it. He's just gonna start one-tapping me left and right. Like, it is so strong and ridiculous. So, like, if I'm not using a meta team, I can't really counter that. Like, I don't have a roll boom. I can't do that. Like, that's why roll boom's so good. But I gotta go in with these two Pokemon. Let's see what we can do from here. Maybe we can make something happen. We didn't get swept, though. You guys know the rules. We don't go 0 3, and we don't get swept. But I don't think this was a bad video. We won our first battle. We did solid in our second battle up, up against that heavy meta Zassy team. And now we're sitting here up against a heavy meta Kyogre team. And it's really tough for us. It's always tough. Uh, I'm going to drop an Aqua Gem. I am going to take out you. And maybe. Just maybe. I can get off this tripping. Just maybe. We'll see. We shall see. But I just think this Water Spell just dumps all my Mewtwo. No problem. Aqua Jet flies through. We can say, hey, Reg Lecky. Get out my game. We don't need you here. I know my Earth we should be able to eat this up because we are water. I'm just going to go for an old. I mean, that's going to do less damage in the water spout. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute, dog. My Tailwind Peter's out. He still has a Tailwind. Hold up. Wait a minute. Ah, son of a biscuit. <laughs> this thing comes out. I think we gotta go for a close combat here. This thing comes out. The double up into Kyogre. I don't think Kyogre's protecting. We're doubling down on this thing. I want this thing out of my face. Oh, hold, hold up. Hold up. Oh, dude! What are you doing? <laughs> His tailwind's gonna peter out. That's gonna help him out. Actually, we hit through protect. That's huge. We hit through protect. He's not choice scarfed. Our defense is dropping. Dude, if that if just a Serene was protecting, that could have been huge for us. But our tailwind ends. We have to go into this Kyogre. We have to drop this lovely expanded force over into this thing. Let's see how this one plays out. I think we go last now. The trick room could have could have did this a little dirty here. Chop kicks can come through here. Bob later skater. Ah. <sighs> The pain. The pain. Trop kick coming in hot. Uh, did we put up a, fu a fight in there in the end? In the end, we did put up a fight there, but he ended up wait wasting out the trick room. Our trick room was our last last bit of hope there. We got it off, and we were we were this close. If that Kyogre did not protect there, I think we had a shot at win this, but solid battles for today's video.
great set of battles for today's video. I feel like we showed off Mewtwo pretty strong here. We versed three top tier teams, which were like one of the best in the game right now, like high tier Master Ball teams, and we held our own. We won our first battle dominating that Meta Kyogre team, held our ground in that second battle, and almost came up with a win. And in that third and final battle, we put up a fight at the end there. We actually almost won that game if you didn't go into that double protect. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Thank you.